Good morning, Domine. You certainly took your time today. The funeral was draining. So many people for one man, yet so few truly knew him. Uh, funerals are awkward and uncomfortable for everyone involved. Fortunately, there are a lot of mundane, everyday tasks for you to take care of today. Uh, we have some outstanding debts. There's the issue of inheritance. The kitchen needs to know what you wish to eat today. Oh, and the carpet you have ordered has arrived. What kind of debt are you talking about? The mourners? They require their due payment. Additionally, one of them has severely injured herself during the funeral. She is in need of medical attention. How is that even possible? You can't kill yourself by crying too much. She tore her own hair off. Unfortunately, it turns out her hair was rather sturdy. Consequently, she partially scalped herself in the process. She didn't even know Lucullus personally. He was literally hired to cry. Professional work ethics. I guess she overcommitted. <sighs> Very well. Pay all of them and take care of their medical problems. Understood. I'll make sure she receives the best care. Lucullus left me something, didn't he? A slight understatement. His library and his two summer villas belong to you now. But the rights need to be officially transferred before we can do anything with them. Fine. Let us go and do that this afternoon. A wise choice. The sooner we complete these rituals, the better. What are my options when it comes to food? It is boar season. We should buy a few and keep them in stock. Flavius says the mussel harvest was pretty good, too, if you fancy seafood. Last but not least, I can order a variety of fruits for you. The nice grilled boar sounds really good. It will prove to be a good investment. Wait, I haven't ordered any carpets. You haven't? Hmm, that's bizarre. Well, they have brought it to the study. We shall inspect the item. Perhaps it was intended for someone else. This sounds a bit too weird to me. Bring me a knife and arm yourself, just in case. Uh, that never crossed my mind. I apologize. I'll bring your arms at once. Do you need me? Do you try to kill all of your guests? Forgive me. I wasn't informed of your visit. I thought you were someone else. Expecting a different goddess? I don't know what I was expecting. This is a surprise. Fantastic. I love surprises. That is surprising people, not people surprising me. This is a friendly visit. After all of the things we've been through, I thought you would like the opportunity to establish a more solid relationship. Over some food, perhaps. But this room is a bit too crowded. Let us dismiss your servants. I do not like attention. One of the mourners arrived, Cineros. They still want their... Oh. Who is this lovely young woman? You didn't tell me you have a lady friend as a guest? Mother, allow me to introduce you to Cleopatra Thea Pelopator, daughter of Ptolemy Auletas Neos Dionysus Philopator Philopadephos, the goddess who walks the earth and the ruler of the land of Egypt in Africa. You... what now? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, your majesty. I simply wasn't informed. Does she understand our language? Of course she does. The place is a mess. Cineros. We need to go to the marketplace immediately. Tell the cooks I'll be instructing them today. Our guest is a queen. The feast should be royal. I shall make a list of all the guests. Carto should be That very... is quite unnecessary. I would prefer to have a private conversation. You don't want to eat? That is out of the question. A full stomach is the prime ingredient of good company. Are you not hungry, your majesty? I would not turn down your hospitality. But I'd rather have a private meeting with your son. There are myriad things we have to discuss. Of political nature, of course. But of course. Forgive my foolishness. Whatever you wish, your highness. I don't know. What should we do? Cineros, you are a practitioner of the culinary arts. Can you produce a feast worthy of a goddess on such short notice? No feast could be fit for a goddess. But I will strive for perfection.
Stable master had two horses in need of new. Your mother is a bit tense. Are all Roman women like that? In her defense, I did introduce you quite formally. I think she panicked. People do tend to panic in my presence. But you are different, aren't you? Those people think you are a goddess. Am I not? You are not. You are flesh and bone, just like me. Indeed. We may test that assumption later. This is a nice place. I like your little garden. I do miss our sunsets, though. Do you miss the desert? Every land has its own sunset. Every sunset is unique. Indeed. Why do you think that should be the case? If the sun races to the end of the world, does it wait to put on a different show in every land? You'd think a goddess would know the truth about these things. A goddess doesn't know everything. For instance, you. You came out of nowhere and changed the balance of the scales. It is as if you started existing for the sole purpose of upsetting an equilibrium. Shall we continue this conversation over dinner? I am famished. This was extraordinary. I am vaguely sad because it's all gone. Cineros is an artist who takes his work very seriously. Simply brilliant. Genius. I want your service. My parties could use food of this caliber. How much do you want for him? Old Cineros is not for sale. He is a part of this family. It would betray his trust. Loyalty towards a ruler is common. It is an impressive virtue to possess loyalty towards your lessers. Shall we finish this flask together in a more private setting? I think I'd like to sample some other Roman delicacies. I'd much rather keep things formal. That was a once-in-a-lifetime invitation. But, as you wish. Good morning. Do you need me? Do you need me? Stacius nearly dropped an amphora full of olive oil in the triclinium. Oh, that boy will be the death of me. I don't understand it. This seems like a perfectly ordinary carpet. I think it was given in jest by the Queen. What a strange sense of humor. We are being summoned to appear at the court. You have committed a criminal offense. Or so they claim. What crime? I didn't do anything? Both things can be true. Our actions sometimes cause harm to society, yet we may be unaware. Or perhaps you're being wrongfully accused. Only one way to find out. Who's making these claims? Someone must have suffered because of something you did. Frankly, there's no way to know unless we visit the Magistrate. Do we have to go? If we want to defend ourselves, certainly. To be technical, they cannot reach a decision in our absence. But lately, they have started interpreting silence as acceptance. I say it is best to be on the safe side. All right. I'll keep it in mind. It is best not to ignore these things. The court may think of your silence as an acceptance of guilt. If you find yourself near the forum, you should talk to the magistrate. I will meet you there. She's really something, isn't she? Indeed, she is. Something and more. What you're playing, however, is a dangerous game. You should be very, very careful. Why? Because she's a goddess? That is within the realm of possibility, indeed. But truthfully, her divinity, or lack of it, does not matter. She thinks she's a goddess. So do all her subjects. Cleopatra is like the sun. Bright and beautiful, but also harsh and ruthless. 
Play with fire, and sooner or later, you will be burned. What do you think Lurko will do next? Despite all of our efforts, he did really position himself well politically. I would not be surprised to see him become a consul soon. That would be a disaster. Then we should get ready for a disaster of epic proportions. Vale. Good morning. Our personal Dominic. supply of Minerva's wisdom is almost depleted. Shall I send for a few more barrels from the vineyard? If they have any left, it is becoming a rare Excuse me. these days. We still have some reserve for this household, I believe. I'll ask them. Excuse me. The Queen of Egypt in our villa. Did you see her? She was beautiful. Our oh, Dominus really is moving up in the world. Salwe, I see you're on your way out. Glad I caught you. It is always good to see you, Kakuro. How can I help you? In this case, it is I who is here to help you. Or, rather, your friend. Yulia Kalida has got herself into a great deal of trouble, and she has beseeched me to lend her my legal counsel. If Kalida needs our aid, I will gladly give it. What is she asking of me? I told her I would represent her as a favor to you, if you are willing to owe me. For reasons that will become apparent, your friend is forced to maintain a low profile at the moment. She has chosen a discreet meeting spot, near the market. Please meet us there today, and she will explain the details of her predicament. Great Gaeso Quinctius Aquilinus. Your reputation precedes you. They tell me you're here on business. So, let's discuss business. And to buy a Sarah of yours. Indeed. I think I know who you're talking about. You seem to have an inexplicable soft spot for this girl. Curiously, I don't think you even know her name. You are mistaken. I do remember. Her name is Lucia. She's the mother of my child. I see. That sounds very important indeed. She must be quite valuable to you. This sets the price at an extremely high level. Too high for you, I'm afraid. I have friends who could lend me any kind of money you'd want. Indeed. Your rich patrician friend. The conqueror of Africa. His vineyard has risen to quite a bit of fame over these past few years. A chance to make a competitor go bankrupt. Now, that is valuable to me. I will send for him, but he might not be here for some time. He is a busy man. I have both money and time. Salve, Legate. I hope you have been informed as to the nature of our potential transaction. Indeed, I was. Good. That will save us time. For this transaction, I will need a relatively hefty fee, due to the sentimental value of the commodity. I'm thinking I can be persuaded to part with Lucia, the Sarah in question, in exchange for, say, half your vineyards. How does that sound? What? That is insane! It's not a fair price for anything! Surely you won't go ahead with this, Legate. I accept your offer. You do? Hush, Aquilinus. The grown-ups are talking. My clerk will write up the papers at once. As soon as you sign, the girl is yours. The girls, you mean? I want my daughter as well. You do? What you want, my dear Aquilinus, is of no consequence. I have the one Serwa for sale, and that's it. 
I have no intention of selling the little one. Look, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. It's your choice. I see. And let me guess. The easy way is I just hand over my valuable assets to you for nothing. And the hard way is what? You attack me in my own villa. My men have already gone through your accounts and found evidence of your illicit dealings. You hand over a few key possessions of yours. I can be persuaded to look the other way. Certainly not. That would lower us to his level. We're not criminals. You can't wash dirt using dirt. Honor is the hero's shackle. Sometimes you have to do something bad to achieve something good. How do you even know about my side business? You certainly wouldn't dare. To be honest, I don't really know if he is telling the truth. But I know for sure he would dare. Very well. Take the girls. Just leave me alone. I never want to see you again. Likewise. You didn't actually have any evidence against him, did you? You made me partner to your crime. Your crime of saving your family? If that's not heroism, I don't know what is. Perhaps. I just did not anticipate this kind of heroism of myself. Please don't be so harsh on yourselves, Dominique. You've saved my life today. And the life of my daughter. I hope you're right, Lucia. Go pick your girl up and take her to my friend's villa. As you wish, Dominus. Just... just Kaiser, please. Thank you for being here for me. Egypt has a queen now. You lean linen for bandages, fresh medicinal herbs? Well, it can't hurt. She is said to be greatly beloved by the people. Well... As long as the grain shipments resume, I guess it's all the same to us. My cousin was at Alexandria, you know, on one of Italia's Lurko ships. How did they manage to take the city? The ships arrived just in the nick of time. Apparently the legions were nearly rooted. You look like you've been sleeping poorly. Is something wrong? It's kind of you to ask. My husband has fallen ill. That's right, you told me last time we met. Has he not improved? He's only got worse. We had to leave him with the Medici at the clinic. I'm so sorry. I will pray for him at the Temple of Apollo Medicus tonight. Finally! Mecasta! I was starting to think he wouldn't come. There he is, the man of the hour. I need your help. They will kill me. I need someone to defend me at the court tomorrow. Slow down. What happened? It's a long story. What do you want to know? I know you have been on the run for a long time now. What exactly was your crime? Feels like a lifetime ago. Before I joined the Legion, I killed my husband. So that was the reason you were disguised? Sort of. People were looking for me and I was on the run. I could have found other places to hide, but I chose the Legion because the life appealed to me. Then Lucullus... He saw me for what I truly was and he allowed me to be that person. That was the first time I experienced freedom. Freedom to live? And freedom to die on my own terms. Knowing that whatever happens to me is because of my decisions. Your life is your own. You should live it whichever way you want. It's not that easy. No matter how far I try to run, my past keeps catching up with me. Julius Calidus is a warrior of renown in the Legion, and he has slain countless men. He's a hero. Yulia Kalida has slain only one man. She is a murderer. And whenever I enter Rome, I turn back into Yulia, the husband killer. How did your husband die? He was an extremely controlling man. I couldn't leave the villa except in his company. Everything about how I dressed, who was allowed to visit me, all was decided by him. I couldn't live that way. We fought about it all the time. One of those fights took place atop the Grand Staircase. It got very heated. I pushed him. So it really was just an accident. I wish I could tell you he died for a better reason. That he was a criminal, or that it was some grand conspiracy, or even just that he was hitting me. But his cruelty was of a much more insidious sort. And to the people of Rome, 
His was a perfectly acceptable way to treat his wife. Your family not support you? This whole thing is their fault. When my brother Aulus finally invited me to dinner, I thought everything was going to be fine. But they actually lured you into a trap. Not exactly. They were setting me up for another marriage. Can you believe it? Everything was fine at first, and Aulus was speaking up for me. Now that my father is dead, he is part of Familius, after all. Then suddenly, this ridiculous mule walks in. Burienus Crispus. Naturally, you wanted to kill him too. Hey, not fair. But... I don't know. Am I a woman who kills her husbands? Is this who I am? So far, you've killed only one husband. I believe, statistically speaking, that counts as an outlier. Thank you, Kikoro. Who exactly will kill you? Rome. Look. I am a murderer. And I thought we were over this with my family, but... But they disagreed. Pretty much. The moment I refused this new marriage they set up for me, Mother turned me in. I barely escaped. And now you don't know what to do. I never know what to do when I'm in Rome. I believe I know everything. The question is, how can I help? There will be a hearing tomorrow where they will try me for the murder of my late husband. I may be sentenced to death. I need Kikoro to advocate on my behalf. Of course we can help, right Kikoro? Martra sighed. It's a difficult situation. Was he a particularly cruel man? Not by Roman standards. I would certainly not use that line in front of the public. Please answer my question. He was a bit full of himself, but actually he didn't really do anything bad to me. He didn't even whip you a little bit? You think he could have? Hmm, indeed not. A pity. This makes defense difficult. Are you shying away from this? I didn't say that. I welcome the challenge, but you will owe me a great deal. Whatever is necessary to ensure Kalida's freedom. I admire your loyalty. In a few years' time, I plan to run for consul. You will have to contribute a great deal to my campaign to pay me back for this. Thank you. It would be impossible to repay you, but this means a lot to me. I feel like I'm multiple people in one. Yulia Kalida the warrior, and Yulia Kalida the murderer. I don't really know which one I am, but I can't be both. We will see what happens. Walete, don't be late tomorrow. Personally, I hope Polybius is elected, I delay. He makes fine bread. Good bread hardly makes a man qualified for Edile. Personally, my vote is for Wattia. You only say that because your Collegium recommends him. Nonsense! I think he's worthy of the city. Are you still looking for work? I do have work, but I would like a new one. My Dominus is slow to pay. An acquaintance of mine has opened a new Kalpona. I can put in a good word. That's very kind of you. I think I may take you up on that. There was a great fire yesterday in the low dwellings. Five buildings burnt. Two of them were completely destroyed. I saw the smoke. Has Crassus made his move yet? Of course he has. He was there while the fire still smouldered. He bought that entire district for a pittance. <laughs> that vulture. I ordered five sacks and you delivered four. I sent my apprentice off with five sacks. Five is what you received. Do you think I cannot count? Or are you calling me a liar? I am saying you got the sacks you paid for. I did not come here to argue. Give me the fifth sack now, or neither I nor any of my clientes will ever buy from you again. I will ensure you are out of business by the end of the year.
I love your dress. Where did you get it? Thank you. It was purchased from Iomachia's clothing market in Pompeii. I must arrange to visit that soon then. Salwe, Domine. How can I be of assistance? You must be one of Sextus's daughters? That's right. Do you know my father? He's an old friend. Ah, I see. If you'll wait here a moment, I'll fetch him for you. Legate! It's good to see you out of your uniform again. How is civilian life treating you this time? Well enough, I suppose. I wanted to see if you had returned to your smithy. Indeed I have. My family must eat. Your daughter seems like a lovely young woman. She is. She is the youngest of the clutch. I tell her she should find a nice rich patrician boy to marry, but she insists she enjoys helping me sell what I make. How is business? It has been better, but it has also been worse. There will always be people in need of horseshoes and kitchen pots. What have you told your family about me? Only the best things. You are held in great esteem in my household. Let me be a patron of your workshop. What will you make me? For you, it would have to be something prestigious. Hmm. Tell me, have you heard of a Parazonium? The dagger worn by great commanders, which confers the aura of courage. The very same. You have managed just fine through two campaigns without it, but if nothing else, I'd say you've earned the right to wield such a blade. What say you? I can sell you one that you'll be proud to show off. Am I allowed to wield such a weapon within the Pomerium? It's a symbol of prestige more than anything. Jewelry for a great soldier. Consider the deal made. When will it be ready? To tell you the truth, I have one almost finished. It was ordered for the scion of another patrician house who was going to be a tribunus under Crassus. The young fool bedded the wrong girl and was stripped of his military commission, and the order was cancelled. If you'll wait for an hour, I will personalize it for you and finish the work. Ah, good, you're back. The Parazonium is finished. I engraved your initials on the hilt and got it nice and sharp for you. A well-tempered and carburized blade, if I do say so myself. Does this really grant an aura of courage? In a manner of speaking. As long as the men believe it, they will fight all the fiercer when you are near. Sextus, you do great work. I would like to purchase your shot. <laughs> Thank you, but it's not for sale. If you ever go to war again, I'll be with you. But here in Rome, I prefer my freedom. It was good to see you again, Legate. But if that'll be all, I must get back to work. That is almost twice the price I normally pay. <laughs> Blame the war in Egypt. The price will fall again soon now that the war's over. What good will that do me when I need it tonight? <sighs> I'll take three. My wife's family dreads the next census. I'm certain they will not be allowed to remain in their current class. That's right. You told me they had lost their cattle over the winter. Some kind of disease. <sighs> she will be devastated if the censors reduce her father's standing. I must hire six Serwi to take an ox cart to Suessa and pick up a mill grinder. That's a six day trip. That'll cost you 72 sets dirty. When can they leave? Hmm. In two days? Deal. Our way. Thank you for coming. Hopefully this matter will be resolved quickly. Naturally, Praetor. I take matters of justice quite seriously. An admirable quality fit for a true Roman. This is about your Servus, Secundus. It seems that last night he got quite drunk. In his intoxicated state, he got into a fight with another Servus. Did he at least win? With all due respect, Domine, that's hardly the most relevant question we can ask here. On the contrary. It's actually a surprisingly relevant question. Not only did he win, he broke the other man's arm. Oh. If that's true, he surely deserves punishment. It is not my place to tell you how you should handle your Sowie. 
I am not a censor. Nevertheless, the punishment of your service is not the topic of this hearing. Why is Secundus not here to defend himself? He is your service, is he not? His actions fall under your purview and responsibility. It seems like you've already reached a verdict. There's not much to say. The evidence is irrefutable. The other service was severely injured, costing his Dominus valuable labor. Furthermore, there are criminal charges. This kind of violence is not to be tolerated. The sentence for the first offense will be monetary. In total, this means you will have to pay 200 denarii to the offended Dominus and 100 denarii to the state. Do you contest this ruling? Of course I do. This is ill-advised. On what basis are you contesting the ruling? Do we even know what made Secundus attack the other service? Well, it is a relevant question, actually. Witnesses claim there was a heated exchange and some distasteful claims about the profession of your mother. No matter what the reason is, there is loss of labor. But that might be an indirect consequence of their actions. The service is supposed to protect his owner. Perhaps. Some damage was still caused. There's nothing to be gained by resisting legal institutions. I am merely defending myself. If your claim is not strong enough, maybe it's not right. Well spoken. You clearly have a good understanding of how the legal process works. Enough talking. My decision is made. You've made a good case and your arguments are solid. I can't ignore the damage your service has caused, but you will receive a reduced sentence. This time. An auction of fine serwe will be held tomorrow by the house of Erasinus. Learned Greeks captured in the war against Mithridates. Strong-backed workers from Hispania and Mauritania. Erasinus has serwe for every budget. I will not tolerate these hijinks in my court. Both parties to this case have selected me as your Udex Privatus. Show some respect, or go find someone else to preside. Is that clear? Let us continue then. To the accused, I pose this question. Why did you kill your husband? Be very careful, Kalida. I am here to argue on your behalf, but your answers will ultimately determine your fate. It was an accident. I did not intend to kill him. Nevertheless, that was the outcome. Intentions do matter. Many healers, in trying to cure a sickness, end up killing the patient. Does that mean the healer is a murderer? What's your point, Senator? Was she trying to heal her husband? Your cliens isn't known as a healer. Certainly not. She's one of the most capable warriors of Legio Victrix. We know she is capable of killing a man like her late husband. However, her capabilities alone do not constitute evidence. Intentions. Very well. Let us assume that death was accidental. Was she loyal to her husband? Of course I was. Is that why you killed him, dear? Must we endure constant heckling by the accused's mother? It almost feels like you want your daughter convicted, Domina. Was it you who called on the court? It was not. I did. I am the pater familias. She's using you too. You don't have to do this. And your legatus is using you. What's the difference? I do not understand exactly how you ended up in the Legion. Are they drafting women now? He's questioning your character. Lucius Licinus Lucullus handpicked me. That was artfully done. You didn't speak an uncomfortable truth, but you also did not lie. Lucullus was a great Imperator. If he picked you, he obviously must have seen something we do not. I think you are a dishonest person by nature. But Lucullus, I would trust even in death. I'm growing tired of this proceeding, and frankly, I've more or less made up my mind. Would the parties please repeat their demands? We want her executed or exiled for her crimes against our family. And we want her exonerated and free to walk the streets of Rome. 
I would ask the honoured Eudex to take into consideration that my Cleans was once a friend of your nephew, Julius Cayeza. Very well. Since the incident in question happened years ago, evidence is in short supply. Thus, I must decide based on my own observations. Despite her generally deceptive personality and her unwomanly profession, I have concluded with reasonable certainty that Yulia Kalida is not guilty. I have found myself unable to decide without a shadow of a doubt, and doubt should benefit the accused. You are free, Domina. Congratulations. I believe my work here is done. You know I had no choice, sister. It was my duty. But despite it all, I am glad you're free. You don't have to do anything. Never forget that. I will try to remember that. Wale, sister. Kill that man. I am Zrichi of Scythia, daughter of Niwika. No more blood needs to be spilled here. Please, just tell us what you want. You and your friend once killed a girl named Tusa and enslaved her sister. Do you not remember? That does not sound like something I would do. How long ago was this? What is this place? Who are you people? We're just a group of regular citizens who gather regularly to enjoy the finer things in life. Nobody is hurt, I swear on you no know Capratina. The women are here by their own choice. What you do here is illegal, is it not? The Senate has outlawed our gatherings, it's true, but only because they don't understand. They've given in to populist sentiment and slanderous rumors, that's all. Nothing we do here is wrong. By Uhura Mazda, you really don't remember. Listen, I'm certain we can come to some sort of agreement. You are bereaved. Do you seek compensation? I seek vengeance. Get your hands off me! The bitch killed Sylvia! She's mad! Stop her! You want to try me too? I will kill you all if I must. I would never. Find your clothes and get out.
I've taken care of the payment. There's just one more matter we need to address. Segundus himself. Seems he can fight. Perhaps he can be of use to us in a different capacity. An interesting decision. I will see to it that he's trained properly. How are Lucia and her daughter settling in? Reasonably well, I think, under the circumstances. I have put the woman to work in the kitchen to distract her from her worries, but we are starting her out slowly. I may begin tutoring the girl when she's old enough, but let's see if I'll have time for that. Vale. The Queen of Egypt, in my living room. Oh, it's such a shame she had to leave so soon. Imagine the gossip. It has been an interesting day, to say the least. I've been away on campaign for too long. Time to work. 